Okay, so now we're going to talk about stability. Stability of an object is the measure of an object's ability to maintain its original position. For example, if I knock into something or if I try to turn something, how much effort do I need to put in order to make it topple over? If I need to put a lot of effort to make it topple over, or I need to turn it very far to make it topple over, then it has a lot of stability, it's quite stable. However, if I just touch it once and it drops down, that would mean it's not stable. We're going to use a little cone over here. Think of a cone, like an ice cream cone. And let's say you put it on a, on a flat plane like this, and you attempt to balance it straight on its point. Then, let's say you manage to get it balanced on its point, by hook or by crook. And you use your finger to just push it a little bit, like this. Now, when it's like this, what would you think would happen next? Clearly, this cone would then fall over and land on the side. This would be considered an unstable equilibrium. So this is the explanation of an unstable equilibrium. When a cone is tilted slightly, the center of gravity falls a little bit. And then, because the weight of this right lies outside the current base, which is this little small point over here. Therefore, there will actually be a moment created. There will be a pull over here. Imagine a line pulling down, and this is the pivot over here. And then therefore, there will actually be a clockwise moment pulling downwards like this. Therefore, this causes the cone to topple, and it will move away from its original position. This will be considered an unstable equilibrium. This is the explanation of an unstable equilibrium. If you tilt something a little bit, it continues moving in the same direction, continues moving further away from its original position when you let go of your finger. Now, let's consider the cone in another position where the base is directly flat on the table. So, what would happen if I pushed it a little bit like this and then I release my finger? Based on common sense again, the cone would fall back to its original place. And this would be considered a stable equilibrium. So this is the explanation for stable equilibrium. When a cone is slightly tilted, the center of gravity actually rises like this. Okay? Then, because it rises like this, right, you can see over here that it actually produces an anti-clockwise moment. Because the weight of it, the force, pulls down like this and the pivot is over here. Therefore, the cone would actually pull, it, pull itself anti-clockwise and, and therefore it would fall back into this position. So, the anti-clockwise moment of the weight W causes the cone to return to its original position. And that's the definition of a stable equilibrium, when if you push something, it goes back to its original position. Now, we have the cone in one last position on its side. So, if your cone is on its side, and I use my finger over here and I pushed it, let's say from the front to the back over here. What would the cone do? Say I pushed it a little bit and I release my finger. What would the cone do? Would the cone continue rolling? Would the cone continue rolling further and faster away? Answer is no, it wouldn't. Would a cone roll back to its original position? Also no, it wouldn't. Pushed it a little bit it actually would stay right where it is when I let go of my finger. So this is quite strange. So it's neither stable equilibrium nor an unstable equilibrium. And this is what we call a neutral equilibrium. When a cone is rolled on its side, the center of gravity neither rises nor falls. It remains at the same level above its supporting ground. Imagine this thing rolling over like this. So when it rolls like this, right, it gets to this position again. and if the weight is directly above the pivot, which is over here, there is no perpendicular distance from the weight to the pivot because the weight just pushes directly down the pivot. And therefore, there's actually no turning effect. There is no moment provided by the weight W about the point of contact to turn the cone. And therefore, this object will not continue rolling and it will not roll back. Now, this equilibrium thing only restricted to just shapes I refer to systems for example if a ball is on perhaps a hill like this if a ball is on a hill like this this will be considered an unstable equilibrium because if i push the ball a little bit to the side what happened to the ball the cg firstly is lowered 
it moves lower than its original position. And then when I let go of the ball, the ball will start to roll even further away. And therefore, this is considered an unstable equilibrium. Now, if we inverse the thing, the ball is in the middle of a bow. If I move the ball a little bit to the side, the CG is raised higher than its original position. But when I release the ball, the ball should actually roll back into the bow and come back to a stop at its original position. Therefore, this would be the definition of a stable equilibrium, where the ball returns to its original position. The ball is on a perfectly flat table. If I push it across the table like this and then I let go, the CG, the center of gravity, remains at the same height, like this. And when I let go, it will, it will stay in that position that it is displaced to. Therefore, this is the definition of the neutral equilibrium because the ball, the, the ball does not continue rolling when I let go, nor does it roll back to its original position.